This is a Unirac quick tip on pilot holes placement for SFM Infinity. At this point, you should have completed the array layout and marked rafters at each mounting point. The method we will cover in this video is a bit different than the standard method, but it is the best method for SFM. It delivers faster installs and fewer errors. Rather than drilling pilot holes right on the row chalk line at each rafter or mounting point mark, they need to be drilled 2 inches south from the north edge of the row chalk line shingle course. Instead of measuring with a tape measure, you can just use your fingers as a gauge. Just be sure to adjust for your size and then move them out of the way before spinning the drill bit. The best method is to use a slider as a template or a measuring gauge. Place a slider over the mark with the long side hanging to the south and the north side 1 8 to a quarter inch from the north edge of the shingle course. Then drill a pilot hole through the slider hole. Hold the drill square to the roof plane. Use a bit properly sized for the fastener and drill it at least as deep as the fastener will penetrate. Next, select the appropriate slider for the row. 3 inch trim rail sliders on all south rows and standard sliders on all other rows. Verify that the slider extends at least 1 inch past the chalk line. If it does, continue with installing the flashing as shown in the next video. If the slider does not extend 1 inch past the chalk line, spin it 180 degrees around the pilot hole. Now, the slider should extend more than 1 inch past the chalk line. Notch the shingles in the next course to provide an eighth to a quarter inch of clearance around the slider. As an alternative to spinning the slider and cutting shingles, Move the slider one course north with the standard orientation in placement. Verify that it extends one inch past the chalk line. Then drill a pilot hole. Keep in mind that when working on stepped trim rows, you may need to adjust the position of the pilot hole within the course. Rotate the slider and notch the shingles to position the slider to reach past the row chalk line. These instructions should always give the flashing proper overlap. But before drilling, we recommend test fitting the flashing to verify that the north edge of the flashing will extend under two courses of shingles once installed. 